Hey everyone, David Rishpan here again on YouTube, and today I wanted to talk about how I structure my practice time. I have a few gigs coming up over the next couple of weeks that are all very different musically and creatively, and I just wanted to talk about how I go about prioritizing my practice time and structuring my practice time, and I hope that works for you in all of your projects as well. It's not about what I'm practicing so much as how I conceive of how to divide my time and my attention into what I need to practice. If you enjoy the content on this channel, please click like and subscribe. Uh, most of you watching over the past month or so are not subscribed and it really does help the channel grow if you would click the like and subscribe buttons. So let's get into it. So for me, this stretch starts on March 24th. I will be in Victoriaville, Quebec with the vocalist and multidisciplinary performer Alexandre Templier performing her show Chant Numéro 1, La Nuit du Coeur. And then the following night, uh, March 25th, I fly out to Munich to meet up with Vox Sambu. Uh, we will be wrapping up our European tour, one of our European tours for the year. We're playing in Munich on March 27th at Ampère, and then we play at Babel Med in Marseille on the 29th, and then we play in Sesco, France, which is outside of Toulouse, uh, on March 30th, and then we fly back home on March 31st. On April 6th, I will be playing with drummer, composer, and one of my mentors, John Hollenbeck, at Diazons here in Montreal, we will be performing some of the old Claudia Quintet repertoire with various musicians who have passed through John's mentorship at McGill University. All of those performances require vastly different things from me as a pianist, keyboardist, improviser, performer. And even though it's chronologically last, the gig that I know is going to take the most attention and work from me is the Claudia Quintet, John Hollenbeck's performance on April 6th. And that's because John's music is, of the three things, the most technically challenging for me. And there is also quite a bit of repertoire in the set that John has chosen that we have not previously played, or at least I have not previously performed with him, so there's a lot of brand new to me music that I need to get under my hands and in my ears and as comfortable as the stuff we previously performed five years ago or six years ago is. The stuff that we've already played, the material that we've already played, it's in my mind's ear, it's in the back of my brain, it's more of a matter for me of dusting it off as opposed to learning what is, in essence to me, new repertoire, new music. So that's going to take the most care and attention and time. So over the next week, I am prioritizing uh, working on John's music. Our first rehearsal is actually March 23rd, so I really only have a week and change to learn it because a rehearsal is not where you learn the music. A rehearsal is where you rehearse the music. You should be coming into a rehearsal already having it 90%, 95% under your hands. And then the rehearsal is about addressing issues as a group. Are we changing the form? Who's taking the solo because the instrumentation is different? Questions that you can't address on one's own in the practice room. The rehearsal is group time. It's meant to connect as a group and to work on things as a group. It is not the place for you to learn your individual parts. So John's music, John Hollenbeck's music, is the priority for me over the next couple of weeks, and I will even bring it to Munich. I have a day off in Munich when I land, and I am going to try and find a piano to practice on. The second priority is Alexandre Templier. That show is very precise. It's multidisciplinary. It's a lot of improvisation, but also things that are written and fixed. And it's been a long time since we've performed that show. And there's just details in the electronics that I'm running, in the samples that I'm triggering, uh, that I need to revisit because I haven't opened that file in about a year. So I just need to remember less about the piano and more about 
what sample goes where in the script. It's basically a theater piece, so just kind of reviewing my lines, rehearsing my lines. Uh, musically, I feel like most of the repertoire is still under my hands, but I'm going to dust it off over the course of the next week and make sure it's still in my hands and my ears. And the project that needs the least amount of time and review from me is Vox Sambu, which is not in any way to say that it's the least important. If anything, because Vox Sambu is the project of these three that has toured the most and that I've been a part of for the past almost 15 years, that music is in my bones. That music is very deeply in my hands and my ears and I don't need to review it so much. It's not very technically challenging. Um, it is, however, physically demanding. So my work when I go on tour with Vox and when I prepare for Vox is to make sure that I'm in good physical shape. Uh, so maybe I'll make another video about what I do on tour and how to stay relatively healthy on tour. But to me, that's the priority when I'm preparing for a tour with Vox is it's a high energy show. If you've ever seen Vox Sambu's Tiny Desk, I'll link it uh, in the description below and possibly in a, in a card. I never know what side the cards pop up on, but it's a high energy show. So I need to be able, and we're playing long sets uh, on this European run. We're doing up to, you know, a hundred minutes of music uh, to 45 minute sets to 50 minute sets. So that's a lot of energy, a lot of music. And so I need to be physically ready. And also the rigors of touring and traveling in 2024. Uh, it's, you know, and I'm, none of us are getting any younger either, right? So it's uh, harder on the body than it used to be. So just making sure when I land in Munich that I can get out of jet lag as quickly as possible and uh, be physically ready to hit on March 27th at Mufet Work in Munich and do three in a row basically with Vox before coming back to Montreal. That's how I'm scheduling my practice time. In terms of the rest of my time, I am also serving as de facto tour manager for Vox. And so making sure that all the technical and hospitality details and travel arrangements for that tour are buttoned up before I leave and actually before they leave, they fly out to UK tonight. And there's a whole UK run that unfortunately I am sadly missing due to scheduling conflicts, but they will be touring throughout the UK. I'll post the dates here now. All right, so that's a little bit about how I'm gonna be dividing my time, splitting up my time, focusing my time over the next couple of weeks. If you're in Victoriaville, Munich, Marseille, Toulouse, or Montreal, please come see one of these projects. Uh, they're all beautiful in their own vastly different ways. And I'm gonna get to practicing. Happy practicing to the rest of you watching. Thanks for tuning in. My name is David Rishpan. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.